everyone, it's Desiree. Yes, this video will round out my Spellbinder series, but stay tuned, there is one more. I'm sneaking her in. <laughs> Today, we are going to focus on the 3D embossing folder. Uh, this is absolutely gorgeous. It is called Flowering Christmas Tree Burst. It has a little bit of a folk feel to it, but also modern. I'm going to pull in the bow, die, uh, the bow die from the Glimmer set, and also the Joy Sentiment. Again, there's something that I want to try. I'm sure somebody else has done it, but I have not had a chance to get caught up on videos and all of that. So I die cut the bow from an iridescent cardstock because my panel's going to be a dark teal. And I'm also die cutting it two more times from white cardstock so that I can have dimension on that. I'm going to be positioning my cardstock specifically in this embossing folder. And that is something that I am enjoying when it comes to the Spellbinders embossing folders, the size. The size of these embossing folders are so universal and can be used in so many different ways. Absolutely loving it. Um, you can put a standard card base in there, a five by seven. Um, you can even, I believe, get away with a six by six. So that's what I'm loving about these. And again, I'm positioning it directly so that the bow will be at the base of that center tree. I'm going to pull in my wax seal kit by Spellbinders. Use a low tea light, cut your wick down, and then you won't get the black soot on your spoon. To do a wax melt, I like to have five pieces within my spoon. So while that's heating up, that's, those are the things that give me best results. A low tea light. Now, if you only have a regular tea light, just cut your wick down anyway. You don't need the full wick. Cut it like to just over an eighth of an inch over the tea light. I love the mat that they provide for you. I'm getting my card base ready while that's heating up. And I've got my bow ready to go. Eh, made a run. What I want to see is if I can use this sentiment like a wax melt. Now, you can just simply, you know, take this. What would also look great is if you emboss the sentiment into your cardstock. So with your die cutting machine, use the rubber mat and, and die cut the impression of the sentiment would be great. I'm going to pour out my wax and I should have just let it alone. I should not have touched it. Um, you do not need to press it down. The metal, the weight of the metal will pull that down into, but me, I've got to keep tapping it. I got to keep pushing it and everything else. It's not that this doesn't work. It does. It really, truly does. <laughs> But me, no, I got to keep fooling around with it. So again, make sure you blow out your tea light when you're done. These peel beautifully. Now, here's why I said I should have stopped. It didn't go all the way through, but it almost did. So there is a section that is you can see through it. And that's okay. You, you, it, what you're seeing through is, is the cardstock. So that's just coming through. But this did work great. <clears throat> to give a faux wax melt look. So will if you use the rubber mat through your die cutting machine. And again, you would set that down um, or up so that it, it puts the impression in there. But I think it's a beautiful result for a card super quick because the embossing folder does the work for you. And I love the fact that I was able to get that impression. I, I, for some reason, I am just attached to that joy sentiment and the look of that. I hope you enjoyed today's card. Very quick. 
um, clean and simple a Christmas card to get us ready for the upcoming holidays that are fast approaching. As always, this club and all the other clubs that Spellbinders has available, along with the gallery to be inspired by so many others, will be linked down below. And if you have any questions, make sure you leave those down below as well, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. I would love it for you to be here. I am truly grateful for all of my followers and those of you that just simply take the time to watch my videos and spend this little bit of time with me. Thank you. Enjoy your space. Enjoy your crafty time. Shut the world off and enjoy the process and enjoy the art that you are creating. But most of all, always remember, be creative. And I will talk to you all in the next one. Till then.